particles. See this, and if you don't know how to do this, then you're in the perfect position. So, it's pretty easy to start out. This is just an example of what you could do. All I have is a little torch thing set up here, but you're probably here for the particle. Now, this is all, it's not actually coming off of the mesh or the stand, it's coming off of a little block. It's just a tiny invisible part. If you want to start out with this, get a good old part. You can insert particle emitter. Now usually these are super ugly and you probably don't want these default sparkles in your game. So you're trying to make it fire like before. One that's better than you know the default fire I'll show you in just a sec. <coughs> it's just so commonly used and you probably want to separate so if you want to try something else, you're not limited. You can do more than this. Now to start out, you want to select your particle emitter. Make sure you have your properties open. And most people don't know that when you click on this and try to modify the transparency, there's this. You click on the dots and you can mess around with this. A good example of this would be, this is the transparency, what it starts, and this is what it ends. So if I had them both at max, and I put one right here, it would look pretty smooth. So it would start completely invisible, and at the middle of its lifetime, it would get completely visible, and then it would go invisible again. You could set this however you want. Now if you want to know what this means, then that means that there will be a few random ones selected that will fade out or whatever transparency that is in this range. A few s randomly selected ones would go to that transparency, if you know what I mean. So it doesn't look as linear. That's a, that's a pretty good start. You probably don't want it to go that far and that long, so you need to modify the lifetime. If you just want it to be really short, you can put one. But you can also do a range of, of numbers for lifetime. So if you wanted it to be between one and five seconds, then it'd be random in how many seconds it would last they'd be between 1 and 5 seconds. Some of them fade out quick, some of them take a while. A good thing for fire is probably 0 0.5 to 1 second. Now I'd want to keep the rotation speed pretty slow. Maybe 50. But you can do a range with any of this, so just like I did with lifetime, I can do from negative 50 to 50. If you see really closely, they'll spawn in different rotations. I'd have to change something for you to see this. Oops. And you can see that there are different rotations each time. It's kind of hard to see though. It's very slight. And it's nice to do this with the rotation speed and the rotation at the same time because you can start with random rotation and rotating at a random speed and it's fun because then you get more natural looking fire. By now you're probably wondering about the size you can do the same thing with this, with the transparency. So, 
you can keep the size at zero and then it would go up to this depending on where you put this good for fire would be like right here the thing about having a bigger area for it to spawn in is that you want to have it in a small area so you need to make the part small and you create if you want you can put this anywhere make it invisible can collide off if you really want to <coughs> camera's lacking a little bit so right now it kinda looks like really bright fire there's more things you can do if you put one light emission then it gets to look a little you know less dark better could change the color, same thing as before, but instead you'd have to have keyframes for the colors. So you could, the beginning color would be, maybe you wanted blue for some reason. <laughs> I wouldn't want blue, but maybe you would, I don't know. There you got blue. You got red. It goes from blue to red. green it will fade you won't really see the blue or the red as much as I mean the blue or the green as much as the red because the red is showing right here and the blue and the red will be on the ends so you wouldn't see them but you'd have a nice demonic fire look effect so one of the last things you need to do is get a nice texture for it because the default sparkle texture isn't as good as this and where I found this, I just searched dust particle it's a very nice little particle right here copy and paste the texture into this it's a little too big you can still modify that so you go to size, put this down a bit, it looks more like fire. If you want it to actually look like realistic fire, you could change the colors to whatever. Well, realistic fire colors would probably be starting at red and then going to yellow. Well, not yellow, maybe an orange. and then possibly a yellow now you can see it looks more like fire you can put this anywhere you want let's say you had a rock you want to put it somewhere let's say that's a rock yay <laughs> no so if you wanted to make a random rock on fire, it doesn't have to be a rock obviously, but if you want to make anything on fire, you just put this right on top of it. And let's say you want to make a little fire pit. So you need to use unions. I have another tutorial on that. It should appear right now. And then you can make a little fire pit. You can also, in a union, you can select to use part color, just in case you want to change the color after you made the union. The fire may seem a little small for this fire pit, so you can resize it anytime you want. Pretty nice, right? Sweet little fire pit. So there's that. This one has smoke on it, but it's just a modified default smoke particle. So you got smoke, you can insert it, if you want to find one, it's right here. The settings I usually use, black smoke, very low opacity, very high, well not very high, but kind of slow, 
rise velocity, but the default is 1, so it's higher and very small size. So it'll clump up and it will look nice spread out. Just another example of this, you probably saw this earlier because I accidentally looked at it, but we got a little rocket boost, rocket thruster. Really not little, but also made with unions. This part right here. The particle is pretty much the same thing, but faster speed. And a lot... The color variation is very different. So it looks more like actual gas fuel. And I'd say that's all you need to know for particles. Not much else to say. So if you ever see stuff like blocky fire, fire particle. You get all these crazy things. I don't even know what that is. I was talking about squarish kind of things. If you ever played Trove, you might know what I'm talking about. They have little 2D VFX. You can make stuff like this too. You just need a good texture. And if one last thing I wanted to say is the rise velocity, not velocity, but spread angle. You can change this. If you do a negative 50, 50, I meant to put 50, it would spread a lot more in between negative 50 degrees and 50. So if you did negative 360, 360, it would be completely all over the place. That's all I have to say about particles. Maybe you'll have fun with it. I use them all the time. One of the main things I like about it. You can pair them up with trails and make some pretty sweet things. Well, that's all for now. See ya.